Hello students. In the last video, we showed you how to factorize uh, certain quadratic expressions uh, using the difference of two squares or dots. And it turns out for certain quadratic equations, we can use that to help us solve those equations. So let's have a look at this uh, first equation. x squared takes 16 equals 0. At the moment, we can't use the null factor law, which is what we learned in a couple of videos ago. But we do recognize, hopefully, that this is actually of the form a squared minus b squared, where a is equal to x and b is equal to 4. So the first thing I can do is rewrite that as x plus 4 times x take 4. So in other words, I've used difference of two squares to factorize the left-hand side. And now we are back to a times b equals 0. So all of that is a, all of that is b, and therefore we can write x plus 4 equals 0, or x take 4 equals 0. And the two solutions are, well, for this one, x must be negative 4 for that equation to be true, or x is positive 4. So there's the two solutions to that equation just there. OK, let's have a look at a slightly harder one. In fact, I'll leave, um, I'll leave it for you to try that one. And I'll come down here and have a go at this one first, and then let you have a go at those two. So I'll just move my screen up to give enough space. OK, here I want to solve this equation, 4x squared equals 81. And I'm going to try to use the same method as this. So the first thing I have to do is get a 0 on the right-hand side. So step 1 is subtract 81 from both sides. The reason for that, of course, is 81 take 81 is 0. And on the left-hand side, I have 4x squared take 81. Now, is this of the form a squared minus b squared? Well, it is because 2x all squared gives me 4x squared, and 9 squared gives me 81. So a is equal to 2x, b is equal to 9. So we get 2x minus 9 is our second factor, equals 0. I'm going to need a bit more space for this. So once again, we can now use the null factor law. a times b equals 0 implies that 2x plus 9 equals 0, or 2x take 9 equals 0. Solving this equation, we subtract 9 from both sides, leaving just the 2x on the left, negative 9 on the right. And if I divide both sides by 2, I end up with x equals negative 9 on 2. Okay, similarly here, I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So 0 plus 9 is 9. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm actually leaving a little bit of the, work, the working out, but hopefully you've done enough of these now that you can see what I'm doing. Oops, that's not very neat. Let me try that again. So therefore, we end up with 9 over 2. And there's my two solutions. OK, now one thing you probably is probably worth noting. Notice how in the first equation, I ended up with x equals negative 4 or x equals positive 4. So the same value, but a different sign. And down here, I've ended up with x equals negative 9 halves or x equals positive 9 halves. So the same thing. The only difference between the two solutions is one is positive and one is negative. And that's going to be a feature of uh, dots, basically, when you're solving equations using difference of two squares. OK, let's go back to these two equations. Stop the video and see if you can solve those two. The second one there is going to take a little bit of extra thinking. OK, welcome back, students. Let's see how you went on this. So 
if that whole ex uh, term, sorry, is a squared, then a is just 2x, b is 5. So I can rewrite the left-hand side in factorized form as 2x plus 5, 2x take 5 equals 0. So that's a times b equals 0. So the next line is 2x plus 5 equals 0, or 2x take 5 equals 0. Solving these two equations, add 5 to both sides. For the, Sorry, excuse me, subtract 5 from both sides, and divide both sides by 2. So one solution is x equals negative 5 halves. For this one, I add 5 to both sides. And that gives me 2x plus 5 and divide both sides by 2. Oops, that's not a plus. That's a, let me get my eraser. 2x equals 5 and therefore x equals 5 over 2. So those are my two solutions to that equation. Okay, now you you might be looking at this last one and saying something's not right here. That 7 isn't a perfect square. Like all the other questions, um, the term or the, the second term was a perfect square. Well, yes, it probably doesn't factorize all that nicely, but it can be done. You say, what squared gives me x squared? Answer x. What squared gives me 7? And the answer is the square root of 7. So in fact, I could factorize that is x plus the square root of 7 times x take the square root of 7 equals 0. And therefore, x plus the square root of 7 equals 0. Or x take the square root of 7 equals 0. And my two solutions are x equals negative square root of 7 or x equals positive the square root of 7. So there is a way of solving some quadratic equations um, using the difference of two squares.